Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Let's talk about creating and editing recurring meetings in Microsoft Teams. Uh, it works a little bit different than Outlook, but uh, once you see this cool little uh, trick, you'll have no problems whatsoever. So let's get into it. So right now I'm looking at my calendar within Teams. So that's just the calendar icon on the left-hand side. I'm looking at May 2022, and I've decided I wanna have a recurring meeting on Thursdays at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna create a recurring meeting. I'm gonna then edit it um, to show you how I can change the time of one of those weekly meetings or cancel it altogether if I need to. Okay, so let's, let's show you that. To create a meeting, you can either just click on the time and away you go and it lets you create a meeting, or I'm just gonna close this and show you the other option. Uh, on the top right corner, it says new meeting. And from the drop down, uh, you have schedule meeting. So that would be what you're wanting to pick. So I'll pick that. And let's say it's our uh, weekly spring meetings. Okay, so invite your attendees and put your date in there. So I said Thursdays at, what time did I say? 10, I think, 10 a.m. And we'll do it for half an hour. And then for the does not repeat, we're gonna change that to say weekly. Now be careful here, because if you say weekly, what when does it end? You know, if, it, if there is no end in sight, then I guess you just leave it like that. Or you can go to this drop down, and instead of just choosing weekly, go to custom. And from custom, you can select an end date. So let's just say I'm only doing it um, so it's in, it starts in May, uh, but it's going to end at the end of June. So that's the end of that spring weekly meeting. And it's actually not going to start in December. It's starting in May. Okay, repeat every week on a Thursday starting in May, ending in June. Okay, now if you're in Teams and you're using the Teams and the channels really well, then you most likely want to have this weekly spring meeting with the people that the meeting's for. So you want to pick out the channel. I'm going to go to my instructors and go to training. And then you could type in any details and make attachments and all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm going to create this meeting, send it. Oh, by the way, uh, if you don't want people to send you responses, like you don't want to get all those emails back saying they're coming, they're coming, uh, just on the click on the top here where it says response options, you want to turn off to request responses. The also there's another neat one that says allow forwarding. So if you're suggesting these certain people come to your meeting, do you want them to forward that meeting invite to somebody else so that that other person can come? That's what allow forwarding would, would let happen. So you decide if that makes sense or not. I don't need anybody to forward. I'm just, I'm gonna meet with people that I say I'm gonna meet with and that's that. So I'll turn that off. Okay, so I'm gonna hit send. Just so you can take a quick peek, the meeting request was sent to one of the attendees. So this is what they see is uh, that there is a recurring meeting that every Thursday from May 5th to June 30th, and they can accept it right from within their Outlook email. Okay, so that's what the recipients get. So that weekly meeting uh, is also showing up in the posts showing as a post saying that that has been done. Let's go find that weekly meeting and let's adjust it uh, so that we can say one of the weeks, it doesn't work well for 10 a.m. We wanna change it to maybe 1 p.m. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go to my calendar on the left side and find that meeting. Now, once that meeting's created, you're gonna notice on that meeting, as well as any others, that there's a little recurrent symbol at the bottom right-hand corner. We're gonna click on that little symbol and then we've got the option to edit that meeting. So if I click from the drop down for edit, I have two choices. I can edit just this one occurrence or I can edit the entire series. If we change our mind, we don't want it at 10 a.m., we want it at uh, 11 a.m., that would be the whole series. If it's just this one though, we know that uh, 10 o'clock doesn't work, we need this one to just be at two o'clock, then we're gonna go edit occurrence. Um, and so actually before I do that, I should just prove to you that the other ones are showing up there. So this is um, May 5th. Let's just go to the next week here. And you say May, May 12th, so it's at 10 o'clock and May 19th. So hopefully that's far enough for you to see that. Okay, so back to the one we wanna change. I'm going to click on that recurrence symbol, go to edit, choose edit occurrence. 
And so here's where I'm going to say, you know what, this one is not going to be 10 a.m. It's going to be 2 p.m. And I've got the option here at the top to send update, which of course I want to do because everybody should know when the meeting is. So let's do that. Send and then we'll close out of there. So now that one meeting's moved to 2 p.m. If I go to my next week, it will have not affected next week's meeting or the week after. Okay, so there you go. That's how you change or create and edit a recurring meeting in Teams. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye.